Wide-angle lens and fisheye lens can give you a very wide landscape photo. Inevitably, lenses like this often cause distortion in your photos. Don't worry, Photoshop's adaptive wide-angle filter can fix this problem. For example, let's say here we have a landscape photo taken with a very wide-angle lens. It is very obvious that the buildings near the edge of this photo have been completely distorted. This tower is no longer on the vertical line and is obviously distorted, and the horizontal line on the ground has also been twisted into an obvious arc. Sometimes, this is what the photographer wants. But if you want to fix all these issues, you can find Filter in the top menu and click Adaptive Wide Angle, or use the shortcut Control-Alt-Shift-A if it's a PC, or Command-Option-Shift-A if it's a Mac. Then you can find the Constraint tool in the upper left corner, and then draw straight lines in the area of this photo has been distorted. For example, this tower. You will find that when you draw a straight line on this side of the tower, Photoshop will automatically analyze this photo, and according to the deformation of the photo, the straight lines you draw will be slightly distorted. Then, when you release the mouse to finish drawing the line, Photoshop will compress the pixels around the straight line and straighten the tower. Similarly, if you find that the horizontal line of the building is also distorted, you can also draw a horizontal line where you think it should be. Photoshop will also compress the pixels around and straighten the floor. You can keep repeating this. Find the area that you think should be vertical or horizontal. Keep using the constraint tool to fix it. Included the most distorted portion of this photo, the ground. Until you achieve a result you are satisfied with. We can compare before and after. Basically, all the building deformation problems in this photo have been fixed. But it is inevitable that Photoshop compresses some part of the photo. In this way, although you have fixed the building distortion problems, there will be a lot of empty space around the photo after. This is inevitable, and you will have to compromise. Of course, you can slightly crop the photo, and then use content-aware fill on the empty area to fix. That's for today's video, thanks for watching. In this series of videos, we will go through everything in Photoshop in a most simple and clear way. And also try our best to answer everything in the comment to help. Please consider hitting the like button or subscribe to support this channel.